The Wood Shop is sponsored by Chefware Kits, Nova, and their new Infinity system. All right, welcome back. I thought a good project for New Year's would be bottle stoppers, and I just got the Ruth Niles system for doing bottle stoppers, and it's really slick, makes it easy, and I will show you how to set it up, and I will turn a couple too. And this is a good project for beginners, and it uses for using up scrap wood or whatever. Before I get started, I want to say thank you to Zach. Thanks a lot for the pin blanks. He, I'll put a link down below to his channel. He does a lot of amazing stuff with, with acrylic and epoxy and putting wood and mixing it all together. But go check out his channel. All right, let's get started. All right, this is the root Nile system for doing bottle stoppers, and it's pretty slick. It's just this mandrel here. It's got number two Morris taper on it, and it's got a little collar there, this collar here diameter of that so all you do is take a blank come down with a Forstner bit just enough I just maybe a sixteenth just enough to make sure it's flat and it seats up against that proper and that's a uh, seven eighths is that and then you take a, your a drill bit and this comes with the kit I believe from Chefware kits and it's a twenty three sixty four is that drill down into it seven eighths and then you take your blank and just thread it on and then turn it so that's what I did with all of these. I turned a couple, and I'll show you those real quick, but it, there's not a whole lot to it. I just used a roughing gouge and a spindle gouge to do the whole thing on, on all of them. Actually, I used a little parting tool on that one, but I didn't film that. Um, and then all you do is take your stopper here, put it in the right hand, and they just screw right in, just like that. And there's different varieties this one has a dowel inside of it like that and you just put a little bit of glue on it and, and press it in there's the old style with the cork and dowel there's this a uh, little bit newer style has a cork but then it also has the threaded threaded part so you can get them on and off or just easier to work with this um, I, this one's maple. I'm not sure what that wood is on that one. These are the rest of them are colored plywood, and that is Paduke right there. That one, and this plywood over here I got from Walter. I will put a link down below. He has some, he has some different plywood that I've never seen before. It's it's a lot of dark colors in it. That, uh, not like the the real bright stuff that you normally see. That's another piece that he sent me. I'll put a link down in the description to to his stuff but it's pretty slick I mean for using up scraps and quick 10-15 minute projects this is this is great and they make great little gifts too all right let's go ahead and I'll show you what I did real quick all right just screw the blank onto the mandrel and make sure it seats on that little collar the first one I did after I was done turning it, it locked on there pretty tight so what I did on the rest of them was I screwed it all the way up had it seat and then backed it backed it all the way off blew out the threads on the mandrel and in the piece and then they come off pretty easy I have the lay speed turned up to 3500 and I'm just using a roughing gouge to true it up and then I'll switch to a spindle gouge
just sanding the solid wood ones with mineral oil. The dyed plywood, the colors kind of bleed in on each other if you, if you sand it with oil, so I just dry sanded all of those. And I'm just polishing it up with uh, beeswax here. All right, there we go. I'll put some pictures up at the end, but I really like the way root system works. It's nice to get, put your finish on and just screw the little stopper right into it. And again, Walter, thank you for that plywood. I'll put a link down below to his site. I think he has some more of this. It's I've never seen him seen colors like that on the the dyed plywood. It's it's pretty unique, but. I will put a link down below for that. And again, uh, thank you, Zach, for the pin blanks. I'll make some pins and put some pictures of those up, too. All right, as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.